least we're outside. Uh, yeah, we hope everyone's doing well wherever they're sheltering in place, physically and mentally. For us, we're lucky because we get to get out. We're walking uh, in our neighborhood, but there's a lot of cool places we can walk within five miles. Anyway, we still have to physically distance. There's people coming down the sidewalk, so we got to move over, or they're going to move over. Half the well, they're moving over. There you go. Yeah, finally. <laughs> well, the problem. Well, Charlie, they think you're going to hit a police yeah. selfie stick. It seems like a lot sure. more people from out of town are coming in to go along the beach. Um, so if we go up on the ridge, that helps a little bit because the trailheads aren't marked, so there's fewer people in there. Some people were coming down the sidewalk where we're going and they moved over, so people are being very conscientious, so we're very glad that. Yeah, we did go to the grocery store this morning and people were being civilized, which I was glad to see. It wasn't too bad. We had to stand mm -hmm. in line to get in. It wasn't horrible like Costco. It wasn't too long of a wait. We got in, got out. People yeah. were buying reasonable quantities of uh, food and supplies. They only let you buy one toilet paper now, so that helps a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, they put a restriction on that. Okay. So what's really cool is that when you hike up to the ridge, you start to see these old abandoned Nike missile sites. They have pretty much been taken over by graffiti artists. So we're still making our way up to the top, but there's an interesting structure down here. Lots of graffiti on it. Actually, pretty colorful. That's Megan on the inside. So what is this thing that we're looking at? It's a thing. It's a part of the missile site. Yeah, we uh, we live temporarily uh, just south of San Francisco, along the coast. So they have these dotted up and down the coast. Yeah, a lot of them they've already torn down. still well within our five mile restriction. Still within five miles. Still within five miles. Okay, heading on. So there's the Nike missile site up on top of this hill, but there's also an older installation called Battery 244 that dates back to World War II. Um, and I read an interesting story about it on the internet. Um, apparently the city was using it for overflow record storage um, in the late 1960s after it was decommissioned. And in 1971, a bunch of high school kids from down the hill broke into it and set the whole thing on fire um, and the city lost a bunch of their records. within five miles of your house, um, but obviously people aren't doing that here. You can see there's like a ton of cars parked here at this trailhead. Um, and the other thing is that because everything's closed, um, you're not supposed to leave your trash. There's no trash pickup, um, but you can see obviously people aren't abiding by that either. They've left like, like full bags of trash. They've left like their dog poop bags like on the ground. It's just, it's Lots super gross. Not everybody's complying, unfortunately. Yeah, definitely not. So up here, you can see a view of the East Bay, where that cruise ship was uh, docked over the Port of Oakland, where they had all those sick passengers from coronavirus. You can't see it anymore from up here, but it looks like the, the actual cruise ship had moved on. Okay, 
Okay, we encountered way too many people off the ridge as we continued to head south, so we bailed. We started to come down. So we're just gonna get back before it gets too crowded. So as you can see, as we got back down to the neighborhood, it just got way too crowded. So we're going to head back inside, but thanks for hiking with us today. We'll see you soon.